Hey everybody, John here from techyreview.com and today I want to have a look at a game called Plunder Knots. It's for the iPad and I've just started playing this and I thought I'd do a quick review because it is really, really good fun. And essentially the game is space combat. You have a fully customizable ship. You go around different solar systems, attacking other ships, plundering the loot. You can combine different um, items to create new items and it is really really good fun so um here's a quick review and i've, so I've already started playing it and i've already started sort of going around these systems so you can see all the ones with the little flags in the systems i've conquered and basically we were working towards that wormhole by conquering all the planets and in each planet there is either one or a couple of other other ships which you have to destroy to move on so let's have a quick go this is the the next one and as you can see planet under enemy control so we're going to move our ship over there and attack now this is the second ship that um, you get in the game you can buy more by getting antimatter which you can sort of see at the top and you also collect gold and XP now this looks like this is one of the bosses so this is going to be a little bit harder harder to uh, actually get through this level and the parrot at the side throughout the beginning of the game he gives you some tips and helps you uh, along the way this is our ship here at the bottom and basically to move the ship around you select it and then drag your finger to where you want to move and it looks like we're gonna have to take out that gun battery first now one of the things that I've already got on this ship is some fighters so I can send out some fighters to start attacking okay let's go and attack another planet so we've got two planets we can go and attack and all we do is just swipe our ship to the planet we want to go and attack and off we go try and move my ship around the back launch my fighters I'll try and get my ship around the the back of this ship because obviously he can't shoot at me once I'm behind him and he's doing a lot of damage to me ah here we go one of the really good features about this game is you can come into the shipyard now as you attack your enemies and defeat your enemies you pick up materials as you can sort of see along the bottom here and what you can do is in the forge is combine three materials to create something new so if we look at say this here and go to info and that tells me if I combine those three items, I create something new. So we're going to go and buy that. Okay, it's going to cost me 210 gold. I've got all that already. So let's go and get that. So I've got all the three items needed. Go into the forge. And then we drag and drop those three items. Gives me the amount of gold needed to start this. And that's going to take 15 minutes to complete, but I've got... I've got plenty of antimatter, so we're going to go and finish that straight away. And then, here is our new item. It's a repair module. So that'd be quite good for combat, because we can attach that to our ship. And then each time we activate it in combat, it's going to repair, or give us 187 health. And then its cooldown is 30 seconds. So let's go to tech mods, and there we go. Let's close that. Now I've already got one oops, on my ship already, which I think is exactly the same spec. But let's have a look at some of the other tech mods we've got. There we go. And you can attach these. I'm going to probably attach a second one to my ship. So I've got two of these now. And then when we're in combat, we can use those to help repair or give extra shield, shield health to, to our ship so we can last longer in combat. And you can do this for weapons upgrades. I did this for this one in the front here. I combined a number of items to create a better gun. 
So that's a really good feature of combining some items and creating something better. This gives a bit of extra dynamic to the game. So one of the other things we can do once we've uh, collected enough gold or antimatter is you can go to the shipyard. And once we're in there, we've got turrets, fighters, tech mods, crew, etc. And there's things we can buy to increase our ships, either attack power, defense, etc. And go to the store, go into items, and then we can buy some new items for our ship. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and buy this cannon it's, it does 35.9 damage per second so i'm going to buy that it will tell you how much it's going to cost 1805 gold go and buy that yes we are sure and then i'm going to go and add that to my ship now obviously i've got some weapons already on my ship and i'm going to go and replace one of them that there is 34 damage per second so i'm going to replace that that gun with this new one now, one of the obviously things we need to be careful of is obviously you can buy with real money either antimatter or gold. So if you're playing this for your kids or something like that, you want to obviously make sure you've got in-app purchase turned off. But other than that, you can use either antimatter or the gold you collect through the game to buy different items. Try his suggestion. Try and maneuver. Launch my fighters. Try and keep out the way of those sentries. Still, still a little bit out of range. He can seem to hit me, but I can't hit him just yet. Try and hover here a little bit and try and repair some of my shields before I go in for the attack. Staying well within those sentries, coward. <laughs> Chicken keeps moving away from me. Looks like he's playing my game. Right, let's go and get him. Yeah, he's doing way too much damage. And he's defeated me again. Anyway, that's just a really, really quick look at Plundernauts, it's a really fun, addictive game. Um, all the links are below to going down this. I recommend go and try this one. This is really good fun. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you very much.